Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Don Gaster born but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where it's the big one and not really the big one at Blackpool Pudge Beach, that won't be on the 12th of February either, but um, we're going to be talking about a big breaking news story over these last few days, the Nemesis overhaul, it's, it's happening, it's happening, now we have some details, we have some planning images and also share my thoughts, so before we get started guys make sure you do like the video and love, if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you're new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video, also guys check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas, and for now guys let's talk about Nemesis being overhauled at the Alton Towers Resort. So the planning image on your screen now, Fan Dabidozzi, that is the current plan. Uh, now we're going to go through an entire couple of statements uh, from Towers Times. You can see the TT logo. So shout out to Towers Times and credit goes to Towers Times for these images. Now it's proposed to undertake the following works with the purpose of ensuring the ride accords with modern safety standards. The pages, references and photographs noted in brackets below can be found within the Nemesis chat replacement reference image report prepared by Smithian Architectural. Replacement of parts of the coast track as indicated on the proposed drawing, which is obviously on your screen now. Replacement of 89 of the 117 columns in the associated track in these areas. Removal of 636 bolts, which will be replaced and regrouted. Localized maintenance undertaken to the theming and buildings as required. The tunnel section below the maintenance building will be retained as existing. The coast track which runs through the tunnel will be replaced alongside the structural beam. Bases will be strengthened in limited locations. The specific location for the strengthening are shown on the drawing and all other bases will remain unchanged. Now the replacement track and columns will follow the approved layout and design and will have the same appearance externally. In addition to works ensuring safety standards are maintained while keeping within the existing overall design, an additional benefit is that the coast track will be sand filled which will improve the running of the roller coaster as it will reduce noise levels to the benefit of the site and surroundings. The current track does not have this benefit as the method was not widely used when Nemesis Ride was first constructed. It is confirmed that sand filling will, the track will not materialize change the external appearance of the roller coaster. The submitted drawings show where the proposed maintenance works will take place, but importantly also identify where the greater extent of the structure will remain unchanged. Now in terms of elements unaffected by the proposal, 28 columns located below the station building, 6 pairs of columns, the station exit, six pairs of columns and the ride lift five pairs of columns do not need to be replaced and would be retained 112 rock anchors in some of the foundations below the columns will effectively fix the structure to the rock there are steel bars approximately nine to ten meters in length the rock act anchors have been tested and all 112 rock anchors will be retained there are 43 other steel bars which are of a different design which also support columns these will also be retained the station building will be retained and so too will the theming as noted above localized maintenance to the theming will be undertaken as required the maintenance and emergency access steps along the ride lift hill and track and columns along the ride lift hill will be retained Retaining walls will be unaffected by the proposed maintenance works and will be retained as existing. The tunnels themselves within the development will be re retained. The maintenance building and plant room will be retained. The shop and photography buildings will be retained. The queue line pathways and fencing will be all retained. No trees will be removed as a result of the works. And once the maintenance works are complete, there will be no change to levels on site. There are further details on the proposed maintenance provided to the submitted drawings and replacement reference image report. So it's all changed down in the pit bur bur well giving birth or gave birth to the nemesis creature now let's share my thoughts on the nemesis refurbishment there we are ladies and gentlemen thrill six of all ages that is speaking about the brand new nemesis refurbishment at the alton towers resort now obviously this is going to be a very exciting project to watch the classic coaster is going to get redone in terms of the date where we're expecting this, that has not been revealed as of yet. However, I mean, 
I'm probably thinking it's going to be either before the anniversary in terms of when it's going to be all done. I'm expecting it to probably be done over 2023 and then reopen with the due changes for its anniversary year in 2024. Um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It could be done. It could be. They could be using the anniversary year as the um, sort of last year of the old operation and then refurbish it over 2025 and reopen it in 2026. I don't know. I really don't know. It depends how long it takes to refurbish it, to be honest. It depends how long it'll take to fully retract everything. Um, obviously, with the retrack, you know, are we going to see brand new B&M track? Or, or the new style inverter ghost track by B&M? Newer style inverter ghost track? Kind of like what we see from things like Banshee at Kings Island, etc. Will that mean new trains for the ride? For me... I... For me, I just have a gut feeling it'll be unlikely we'll see new trains. We might see um, sort of newer looking trains, but we might not see new style trains. Maybe maybe we won't. In terms of the vest restraints, do I see them staying the same? Probably. Uh, I'd be surprised if they weren't. But, um, yeah, I think it's, it's literally just as simple as a full retrack. Um... Replace some other things that are sort of drying up around the area. Touch some things up here and there. Give it a bit of TLC. And uh, make it look like a brand new ride. So obviously some very exciting details coming out of this. And it's going to be very, very interesting to see the brand new Nemesis when it opens. Whenever it opens. Uh, but there we go, guys. That is going to be it for this video. Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. Obviously I am planning a trip to Alton Towers at some point. Um... I do have two weeks off work in March, so I might use that opening weekend as a chance to book my first visit for Alton Towers. So, for now, guys, I'm Aaron Channel from Ghost Shell. Keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a nemesis-tastic day.